Take your worries and let them go Plant your solutions and let them grow Love some people and let them know Love your life and let it show Your dreams aren't meant to be dim So baby let that sunshine in cause we belong in the sunshine baby don't say maybe hi everyone i'm peter l welcome back to tunehub.ca it's thursday we have our featured artist today and today's featured artist is Kelsidoscope. Welcome back, Kelsey. It's nice to see you again. Thank you so much. It's nice to see you guys again, too. Awesome. Well, we're glad to have you back. Uh, today's show is sponsored, of course, by Schumacher Arts, Culture, and Heritage Association and KISS 99.3. We're going to get uh, to talking to Kelsey in a little bit, but first we're going to get some music out of you. How does that sound? Sounds great. All right. Take it away. So I'm going to start with a song called Honey, I Do. This is actually a song I wrote for my friends who recently got married. So they sent me some notes on their uh, relationship, and then I made this song for them. So it's a special song. <laughs> so this is Honey, I Do. Oh, that coffee date, let's call it fate, cause our love has been a dream. Oh, the laughter we shared and how quickly we cared. Now we're the sweetest team. With some honey and some dough, our love began to grow. And now we're saying, honey, I do. With every kiss and every hug, we feel so much more in love. And now we're saying, honey, I do. Forever we belong with the tush I love to squeeze With some honey and some dough, our love began to grow And now we're saying, honey, I do With every kiss and every hug, we feel so much more in love And now we're saying, honey, I do wedding and that was called honey i do um the next song i'm gonna sing is called someone this is a song about letting go um peacefully so it's called someone but it's can be any anything in our life that we should let go of um it's specifically for the things that we think that we'll have forever but we end up um having to let go for the best interests of ourselves and everyone else. So this is called Someone. Let them go Let them fly 
and go Let them fly just like a butterfly Let them soar Wish them well on the way Go, go within So you can go without Go within So you never have a doubt Ooh, so you never have a doubt For a steady pace You're making room For that sacred place You're making room For new encounters to grow You're making room So you gotta let go Let them go Let them fly just like a butterfly Let them soar Wish them well Go within so you can go without. Thank you. <laughs> so that was someone, and you guys are actually the first one to hear the song, uh, aside from someone who is coming to do some repairs at my house and just happened to hear me practicing. Well, that was a great song. <laughs> Thank we you loved so it. much. I don't know if the uh, audience heard the applause, but yeah, it was great. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> So the next song I'm going to sing is actually another one that nobody has heard yet. And this is called The Secret to Life. It's about um, seeing the beauty in everyone and, um, yeah, like breaking convention as to what makes one person beautiful and what makes not. Because the truth is everyone's beautiful. Uh, so I'm going to add my cake bowl. And this is called The Secret to Life. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, no cable. There we go. Sometimes I see people Hating on each other, forgetting that we're all sisters and brothers. Sometimes I see people hating just for fun, forgetting that you're down, we are all one. Cause the secret to life is everyone is beautiful, the secret to life is everyone is grand. The secret to life is everyone is wonderful, even if it's so wonderful that you don't understand. Even if it's so wonderful that you don't understand. Precious secrets ain't nothing new. It's a simple act of loving in everything we do. Your life's greatest treasures, we've all been told, to spread love and kindness till we grow old. Cause the secret to life is everyone is beautiful. The secret to life is everyone is grand. Secret to life is everyone is wonderful. Even if it's a wonderful that you don't understand. Even if it's a wonderful. Later learned in 
Kale Cytoscope, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> on Thursday's featured artist on TuneHub.ca, brought to you in part by Schumacher Arts, Culture, and Heritage Association, and today's best music, Kiss 99.3. So, you enjoying your time back here so far? Oh my gosh, so much so. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So, we try to get a little bit more in depth on uh, Thursdays. You know, it's getting towards the end of the weekend. You have a little bit more time to talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, first question. First question I ask everybody. Where does your inspiration come from? Oh, that's a great question. I know, right? It's I always the first one. I love that question. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, on our my last time here, I kind of alluded to this, but a lot of my music will come to me usually when I'm in solitude and usually in nature. So if I go like swim in the ocean by myself, a song will almost always come to me. Or if I go hiking, a song will almost always come to me. So that's my favorite way to receive inspiration is just when I'm doing something else and then a chorus comes. And I'm like, oh, cool. And then I'll put it in my phone and write it down. And then later I kind of take the pieces that came to my head and then I fill it out like a puzzle. So it's pretty fun. <laughs> so is it more when you're alone or is it more, it seems a lot like a nature thing too? Yeah, d that's definitely um, a common theme. So I guess I'm not alone. I'm like with the birds and the squirrels. <laughs> We are all connected. Yes, indeed. <laughs> all right. Do you want to give us a couple more? Absolutely. Perfect. I'd love to. And feel free to, you know, tell a story about the songs that you write before you uh, start singing them. Oh, thank you. I always Otherwise, so my questions those. are going to get pretty repetitive. <laughs> They're good questions, though. Um, so this is a song I sang last time. It's called Sugar Maple Tree. Um, this is going to be released next month, which is really exciting. Uh, the date is actually October 16th, I do believe. Um, so this song is about being a bit of a loner. <laughs> like those times in life that we in life that we feel like a bit of a lone wolf or we don't fit in for whatever reason. So this is a song about embracing who we are and understanding that the most important thing is that we're good people and we have a good relationship with ourselves. So this is called Sugar Maple Tree. Always seemed to be Hanging by myself Never knew how To be anyone else I knew kinds But popular was not social Never figured out to be her Cause I Never knew how to be cool And I Never knew who to hang with after school But I Always had my sugar maple tree To teach me How to be me How to be me Figured out how to be a crew. I was indigo, they were all about blue. I see them walking, but that's not my style. As they're running, I'll be flying my mile, cause I.
little tree how to be me Woo! so that was sugar maple tree <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> coming out next uh, next month on october 16th um so i'm gonna do another song that i'm working on right now i think we're gonna release it in february for valentine's day because it is a love song <laughs> it's about how um, sometimes you can seek enlightenment or try to take a spiritual path in life but actually you can really build that within a relationship um yeah so this is called would you be That's a really lovely song, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to stay off the camera for this break because we're having difficulty trying to switch that camera back and forth. Okay. But that's cool. They can hear me and they want to see you anyway. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> so my next question, mm -hmm. your fir my first one was, where's your inspiration come from? My next question is, have you written any songs uh, based on things that have happened to you personally? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'd say most of my songs... Um, will at least have some of my own experiences. For example, would you be, I'm like single, so obviously it's not for someone, <laughs> but it I- It could be. It could Maybe, be for right, the future. Right? It's written for you someone. You heard that guy, she's single. <laughs> it's, it's written for my future relationship <laughs> and how I wanna feel. <laughs> Perhaps one in you and Vision, we'll say it that way. Yeah. There you go. True. Um, Sugar Maple Tree, I think, 
when I was growing up, especially, I was really shy. So, like in school, um, I was a little bit of a loner, especially the younger years. And my teachers would tell my mom, like, she doesn't really have any friends. We're a little bit concerned. And my mom would talk to me, and I'm like, I'm fine. So I was a bit of a lone wolf when I was a kid. So it's to people like like that or those periods in our life where we feel like that like whether it's we move somewhere and we don't know anyone yet or you know just periods in time where we feel like a bit of lone a loner so that's coming from personal experience um yeah and when i write my songs like custom songs for people uh they're not written on my experience but it it's almost like i draw upon my feelings towards the relationships or my insights or intuition on their relationship so it's like collaborative if that makes sense have you written a lot of songs for other people i've written quite a few now usually for my friends who are getting married i like to write them custom wedding songs it's really fun and they end up being some of my favorite songs you don't find the the wedding thing repetitive at all Mm, i love love so no (laughs) (laughs) that's a good answer that's a great answer (laughs) i gotta say (laughs) i also don't write that many love songs like usually about 10 percent of everything i write is a love song so in my personal um albums and repertoire there's not a lot of love songs so that helps too <laughs> what what do you is there a particular subject you like to write the most about or that you have written the I most definitely about? say i like to write songs that are encouraging or will help people through a hard time or inspire people so usually positive usually encouraging or um yeah motivating well i mean that's a good area to pick considering music is one of the very few things that can affect a person's mood just by sitting there and listening to it right right it's pretty magic that and, it, way. and it's very hard to be you know goth or depressing on a ukulele <laughs> so i mean i don't think you have to worry about that too much yeah um i'll try though <laughs> one day well nobody's asking you to don't worry <laughs> All right, you got a few more for us? <laughs> sure. Awesome. Um, so I'm going to sing a song called Perfect and Perfect Life. This is a, a, a song that I wrote a while ago, and it actually is a very unconventional song structure, um, which is suitable because it's called Perfect and Perfect Life. Uh, it's about embracing the fact that we all mis- make mistakes in life and to learn from them. And that we all have ups and downs and during those downs to provide some insight like it's it's okay it'll get better so this is called perfect and perfect life honey you've got so much to Thank you. 
kids And you've got so much, so much to give Woo! <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> yes! <laughs> so it's funny because uh, it's called Perfect and Perfect in Life and then my voice broke in the middle. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> It happens. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know what? While she's taking a drink of water, I'm just going to thank our sponsors for the second time today, like I have to do. The Schumacher Arts, Culture, and Heritage Association, and today's best music, KISS 99.3. Make sure you join us next Thursday for our next featured artist who I don't remember off the top of my head. So you guys will have to wait and see who that's going to be. Oh, it's Mitch Jean from Mitch Jean Band. So that's sure to be a good show. And tomorrow we have the Gary Buseys that will be performing live for our live concert show. I'm Peter L. It's been great. We're going to shoot it back to Kelsey. Awesome. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. I'll ask you another question in a few minutes. But. <laughs> okay. I'm hydrated now. <laughs> um, so this song is called We Belong in the Sunshine. It's about living on the happy side of life. And um, it's kind of, I not ironic, but something like that. Because it sounds like it's kind of for kids, but it's actually more so for adults. Because I think as adults, we sometimes forget how to have fun and enjoy life and get stressed and forget that we're supposed to have a lot of joy in our lives. So this is called We Belong in the Sunshine. Take your worries and let them go Plant your solutions and let People and let them know. Love your life and let it show. Your dreams are meant to be dim. So, baby, let that sunshine in. Cause we belong in the sunshine.
<laughs> so, Kelsey, uh, we know you're single. We know you enjoy <laughs> long walks in nature and swimming in the ocean and obviously music. Yep. Uh, you've uh, definitely won over my son, who, you know, made sure you knew that as soon yes. as you walked through the door. Uh, but let's get to know a little bit more, sure. uh, for, you know, for everybody watching. <laughs> Uh, so when did you start playing music and did you start writing at the same time or did that come later? I also like this question because I feel like I'm a little bit different in that I was secretly singing since I could remember and like writing songs in secret <laughs> since I can remember. Um, I always really liked writing, but I was very, very shy to sing. Um, so I came to music in general a little bit later than most people. Like, my friends in high school pro didn't, don't remember me being a musician because I was secretive about it. I didn't really take music in high school or anything like that. Uh, but when I was traveling um, in Asia, when I was teaching English, that's when it really started pouring out of me. And I was like, oh, okay, I need to take this more seriously. Because <laughs> I, I, I realized how important it is to me. And I'm like, ah, enough secret songwriting. <laughs> need to bring it to the people so after i got back to canada um i started performing and collaborating with people and then i haven't stopped since <laughs> and the uh the happy sort of go lucky songs we'll call them <laughs> yeah. was that just you know came naturally or you decided that's what you wanted to kind of have your as your influence that was a co very conscious choice because the um the songs that I first wrote more in secret are actually not so happy because <laughs> they were tougher times in my life. Um, but I studied community development and I was really passionate about that. And that's all about helping people. So that just got really ingrained to me, in, into me. So I try to be more uh, on the positive side. Not to say that every artist should by any means. It's just, I think, my place in the music world. Okay. That's really awesome. Thanks. And you said you were in Asia teaching English, right? Yes. How long ago was that? Um, I That was about four or five years ago. I was also teaching in China. So I did one year in Korea and one year in China. Okay. Yeah. And that's when you decided to take this more seriously. Yeah, absolutely. I progressively tried to take it more and more seriously. Uh, when I got back to Canada, I started doing open mics. Um, and then when I by the time I got to China, which was about a year and a half later... I was going to open mics every week and I was getting gigs and arranging gigs. Um, yeah. And then when I got back, that's when I've been um, taking courses and contacting producers. And now I'm uh, making an album. And was it always the ukulele right from um, the start? Yes, because <laughs> actually my hands are really small. <laughs> so I was originally trying to learn the guitar and I still can, but um my sister actually recommended the ukulele because it's easier for people with small hands. And then I thought about it. I'm like, the uke's perfect for me. It's like a Hawaiian instrument about peace and love. So I was like, yeah, I'll go with that. I'm actually learning the piano right now. So I hope to incorporate that in um, my songs as well. But yeah, for now, the That's uke. That's awesome. I'm, I'm just learning the guitar now. Oh, I, cool. I started out with the drums. Yeah. Nice. So, I mean, it's going to be a while before anybody hears it. But, you know. <laughs> I'm getting there. At least I'm doing it now. <laughs> Same I got here. The, the, the numb feeling in my fingertips now. Nice. Yeah, and I'm used to it. That's a satisfying feeling. Start doing this feeling. every day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You earned those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I know I kind of caught you off guard today because you weren't prepared to come. <laughs> no, I thought... Uh, uh, wait, so <laughs> how many songs do you have left prepared? Um, let's do one more. <laughs> you want to do one more? Sure, yeah. that's fine. All right. So for the final time, ladies and gentlemen... Our featured artist uh, Thursday on Tune Hub today is Kelsidoscope. Take it away, Kelsey. Thanks We're glad so to have you back. We hope to see I'm you again soon. I'm so happy soon. to be here. Thank you for having me. So this song is called Come Down. Um, it's about those times in life where we um, aren't so grounded and we get wrapped up into the superficial things or forget uh, what really matters to us. Um, and it's a reminder that there's always people and support in the world f to help you get back to that grounded place. So this is called Come Down. Sometimes in life we get too high, wanna go rich and touch the sky. Sometimes in life we want the show, but behind the curtain forgetting to grow. But my friend, this must end And on me, you can depend So come down, come down Come down from way up 
there, from way up there, come down, come down. I'll hold your hand down every stair, down every stair. Ooh, 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 light, 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 light. Sometimes in life we want the show, but behind the curtain forget to grow. Sometimes in life we run away from the scars that are begging us to stay. But my friend, this must end. And on me, you can depend. So come down, come down, come down from way up. There from way up there, come down, come down. I'll hold your hand down every stair, down every stair. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let the tight light, 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 light. Sometimes in life we get too high, wanna get rich and touch the sky. Sometimes in life we want the show, but behind the curtain forget to grow. Sometimes in life we run away from the scars that are begging us to stay. So come down, come down, come down from way up there, from way up there, come down. Come down, I'll hold your hand down every stair. Woo! <laughs> so that was Come Down. We belong in the sunshine